Hello and welcome back viewers of AVG News. My name is Nkoli Sinube. Uh, I hope you are having a wonderful Monday wherever you are. You will have to forgive me for flooding you with news pertaining to the Zimbabwe exemption permit. That is something which is necessitated by the fact that we have less than four months before the expiry of the grace period extended to the ZEP holders by the Minister of Home Affairs and also by the fact that we are getting concerns and questions almost every minute from desperate Zimbabwe exemption permit holders who want to know what it is that they need to do for them to remain legal in South Africa. And based on that, we are going to provide this kind of update on a daily basis until the 31st of December. And we are going to continue to reach out to the authorities, to experts, to, to try and give you the best uh, response to your questions because there are areas where we also come short as journalists, but experts may help in those kind of situations. So before I go ahead in today's update, I would like to, uh, to request you to subscribe to this channel, to like this video, and to share it. Today's question is based on the comments that uh, came from the Minister of Home Affairs, Dr. Aaron Mutsualeti, a few days ago, where he was interviewed uh, on radio, and he said that uh, some Zimbabweans had not applied to move from the Zimbabwe exemption permit to other mainstream South African permits, permit because, uh, according to him, uh, they had listened to bad advice from those who took government to court, who were therefore telling them that the Zimbabwe exemption permit is going to be renewed, the government is going to lose the case in court. So what this, uh, what this comment by the minister gives is a perception that Zimbabweans who have not uh, applied for any other mainstream South African permit are doing so not because they have considered the qualification criteria laid out in the Immigration Act, but because they have listened to bad advice. What does this mean also? It means that, therefore, government does not consider the lack of qualifications, which was the main reason why the ZEP was laid, uh, rolled out in the first place, but it considers the emotional side or the side which says people are not hitting government uh, advice for them to apply because they've listened to people who say that they will win a case and uh, the ZEP will be renewed. Then the minister also says something which is very much interesting, that there's been a team of lawyers which has been put in place to adjudicate the applications that have been received. Does government need lawyers to adjudicate based on the Immigration Act, we don't think so. Does this then mean that there is a possibility that government is going to be somehow lenient in trying to adjudicate this case? Maybe. We are not certain about that, but it is a serious case of maybe. And then you'll tie in that with the reports that some of the people who have rejected and didn't reapply have been called to come and collect their outcomes. Maybe just maybe there is something which is being worked out and without telling you to waste your money, we would say just take the remaining four months to apply for the permits, the nearest that you qualify for. For those that are running business, even if you don't qualify in terms of the amount that you need to have, but on the basis that you've been operating here, under the Zimbabwe exemption permit business per, uh, permit, please just apply and write, apply for a waiver on the requirement that you should have the 5 million that is required. Maybe, just maybe, you may be granted that permit. Even if you're a domestic worker and you believe that you may have a chance to apply, just apply and then ask your employer to write a, a, a note requesting a waiver on your behalf. 
based on the experience that you have and the relationship that you have. We are not saying this is going to work out, but we are saying it might work out because it's, it's been difficult to try and get a sense of what the government is all about, what they're trying to work out. But you'll remember that there is a letter that was written also uh, with concerns that people were not applying to move from the ZEP to other mainstream South African permits. And that letter implored people to apply. That is despite the fact that the government knows that those people who applied for ZEP did so because they did not qualify under the Immigration Act. And the, that was the basis under which these exemption permits were issued out. So we, we are not saying things are going to be easy. We are not saying people will get the permits, but we are saying the time is running out and the negotiations that have been held have not yielded any positive outcome. And right now there is no meeting that is being held yet time is running out. I hope I'm responding to the questions that have been raised. I hope I'm explaining to the satisfaction of those who want to know what to do. So please continue to send us your questions. Continue to use the comment section underneath this video to raise your concerns with us, to ask questions with us. We'll do the best where we can to respond to you where we don't have any answers, we'll reach out to experts and those that are in the know, including authorities in government. Then we'll come back here and respond to you. There are people who are taking jabs at you. There are people who are just coming to the channel to try and laugh at you, to try and disturb the conversations. Don't mind them. Don't even respond to them. They are just low lives who don't know what to do. They are just xenophobes who are just here to insult you, to try and, try and discourage you. Don't even listen to their advice because most of them don't even know what they are talking about. Thank you very much. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel, like this video and share it.